<laughs> welcome to St. Ambrose. If you're a visitor this evening, we extend a special welcome as together we celebrate the sixth Sunday of Ordinary Time. We begin our celebration this evening by singing together number 616, I Has Not Seen. Please stand and join us all.
O oh God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. If you choose, you can keep the commandments. They will save you. If you trust in God, you too shall live. He has set before you fire and water, to whichever you choose, stretch forth your hand. Before man are life and death, good and evil. Whichever he chooses shall be given him. Immense wisdom of the Lord, he is mighty in power and all-seeing. The eyes of God are on those who fear him. He understands man's every need. No one does his command to act unjustly. To none does he give license to sin. The word of the Lord. Amen.
not a wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are passing away. Rather, we speak God's wisdom, <coughs> mysterious, hidden, which God predetermined before the ages for our glory, and which none of the rulers of this age knew, for if they had known, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, what eye has not seen, and ear has not heard, and what has not entered the human heart, what God has prepared for those who love him. This God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. The Word of the Lord. Tear it out and throw it away. It's better for you to lose 
one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. If your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman commits adultery. Again, you have heard that it was said to your ancestors, do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, not by earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil. The Gospel of the Lord. Last time I got a haircut, maybe the cuts on hair said to do the same thing. I said, yeah. I said, the same way we've always cut it. I said, it's pretty much the same. There's a few more gray hairs than there was the last time. And she goes, I can do something about that. And I thought, what does Jesus say today? You cannot make a single hair white or black. Maybe people can. Maybe they can. But we can't deceive ourselves. It's like me spraying new car smell every time they get my car washed. And my car's still 15 years old. So, you know. But, you know, we, we, we do try to change things, don't we? We do try to change things. Whether it's our appearance, whether it's our space that we live in. And, and sometimes that's okay. But what Jesus is saying to, today is, you know, we can fall into the trap of thinking we can change God's law to fit what we think. If what we think isn't compatible with God's law. And we see it happening all the time. We see it happening all the time. Somebody trying to make an old car smell new just because they spray something in it. make a single hair white or black. We're always making promises. You know, sometimes they're, they're not so important. Sometimes they are. You know, that's true. That's true. You promise, you promise. Yeah, I promise. You know, promise. We make promises. Promise, hope to die. Stick a needle in my eye. Cross my heart. We make promises. Some of them aren't so important. Some of them are very important because when we make promises, sometimes we have to sign a paper. We have to put a ring on our fingers. We have to get anointed with oil. There are some promises that are more important than others. And by virtue of our baptism and our saying we are a Christian, that we are a child of God, we are a disciple of Jesus, we're kind of making a promise that we will do what we can to follow the way of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the way of the Lord. And they're not trying to change the way of the Lord because it doesn't work for us, but rather let the way of the Lord change us so that it works for God. And that's the challenge that we all have. So Jesus is teaching he's full of all kinds of goodies today, and he? I mean, each little paragraph is its own bomb laid by promise. I won't keep you here all night to so each one. But I think we just have to look at look at the sum of what it is. And and you know, going back to that first reading from Sarah, you know, God gives us a choice. Right or wrong? Fire or water? White or black, life or death. God 
gives us a choice. And he tells us, you know, the way to live a life of life. By way of it. We can't try to fudge that a little bit. We can't try to, you know, take something that he has said and say, well, you know, maybe I can dye it up here a little bit and change his color. We can't do that. And that's why he says we can't do that. Let your yes mean yes and your no mean no. And when we say yes to God, we have to mean it. When we come to communion and we say amen, what are we doing? We're saying yes to God. We are. Not just yes, we believe you are present in the Eucharist, which we do. We say yes to God and the life he's calling us to. The choice is out. Choices ours. And, you know, we have to be faithful. We have to be faithful. We have to keep our promise. We want God to keep his promise to us. We have to do what we can to keep our promise to God. And, you know, it's treating others the way we want to be treated. Whether they treat us that way or not. Because isn't that how we can fudge a little bit? Well, I want to treat others the way they want to treat me, but that person's always mean to me, so I don't have to be nice to them. No, 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 Jesus is saying. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Because if we start treating people the way they treat us and we don't like it, we're doing what they're doing. We're doing what they're doing. So as we gather here tonight, and we're instructed by the Lord, by the law of God, a law that does bring life. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord because they will live. And that's what we all want to do. We all want to live. And as we gather here tonight, let's ask God to help us keep our promise to Him. To not try to change the promise to fit us. But let God's word change us to fit more like Him. Because that's the way we're called to go. And let that yes be yes. Let our no to sin be no.
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May we replace hate with love, anger with kindness, and share God's peace in our lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May God give comfort and peace to those who are suffering. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our May we pray especially for those victims of the earthquake in Turkey and Syria. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May the souls of those who have died be blessed in heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. May God answer those prayers in the silence of our hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, as your people, hear our prayers and strengthen our faith so that what we say and do may always be found pleasing in your sight and lead us to life. This we pray through Christ our Lord.
may become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For when we, your children, were scattered far by sin, through the blood of your Son and the power of the Spirit, you gathered us again to yourself, that the people formed as one by the unity of the Trinity, made the body of Christ and the temple of the Holy Spirit, might, to the praise of your wisdom, be manifest as the church. So now, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you, and with joy, we proclaim. Sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, and 
affairs of peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth. With your servant, Francis our Pope, Charles our Bishop, the order of bishops, the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, to all who are pleasing to you, their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and
Jesus, you are the high priest. Thank you for giving us your saving body and blood in the Eucharist. Please help my men from our parish to respond to the call of the priesthood. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, Christ our Lord. Amen. As is our tradition on the weekend closest to Valentine's Day, offer a special blessing for all married couples who are here. So, this is for all you guys. Lord God and Creator, we bless and praise your name. In the beginning, you made man and woman so that they might enter a communion of life and love. You likewise bless the union of the couples gathered here so that they might reflect the union of Christ with his church. Look with kindness on them today. Amid the joys and struggles of their life, you have preserved the union between them. Renew their marriage covenant, increase your love in them, and strengthen their bond of peace so that surrounded by children and family, they may always rejoice in the gift of your blessing. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Congratulations. Also, just a couple other announcements. This is the last weekend to sign up uh, to be part of the uh, six-part series on the Mass. We have 120 people signed up, which is unbelievable, really. But we, we got room for more, so if you want to do it, go ahead and sign up. Uh, also, next weekend, we will be taking up a second collection for Catholic Relief Services to help with the situation, earthquake situation in Turkey and Syria, okay? So we could have taken it up this week or next week, but I wanted to give you a week's notice so that you can come prepared next week, okay? Or you can go on the website and do it online if you want to, if you want to make a donation. Also, you know what? Tomorrow is the big game, and I think Maria's going to come up and say something about the big game. Today, after Mass, several of our youth will be collecting money for the super as in the SOUP or Bowl of Care. A simple prayer. Lord, even as we enjoy the Super Bowl football game, help us to be mindful of those without a bowl of soup to eat. Inspired an idea of us using the Super Bowl weekend to unify the nation as a way to address and tackle hunger in our communities. As you plan to prepare for the big game, I ask, I ask that you join us today in supporting our mission by filling our bowls so others may have a bowl of soup to eat. So who do you think will win the big game? You can vote for your money. At the back of each entrance, you can put your money in Kansas City Chiefs Soup Bowl or the Philadelphia Eagles Soup Bowl. Results on how our parish voted will be posted in next week's bulletin. All money collected this week will be directly donated to St. Vincent de Paul. Thank you. Thank you. Happy birthdays. Well, we're blessing and doing things. Happy birthdays. Oh, we got one coming up. <laughs> I didn't see you coming up here. Sneaking up here. We ask your blessing, Almighty God, upon your daughter, that she may continue to grow in wisdom and strength. You send your angels to keep watch over her as we bless her now as the Father, Son, and Spirit. Amen. Amen. Happy birthday. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Let us go forth now in peace for our Mass Assembly. We're set forth singing number 504.